Donald Trump makes me fucking ashamed to be white. You know, one of these online douchebags, they said something to me like this. Duh, it's good that you hate Donald Trump because that's how we felt about Obama. For eight years, we had to wake up every morning and feel sick to our stomachs that this horrible man was running our country. So this is karmic payback. It's the same thing. To that, I say no, absolutely not. Barack Obama and Donald Trump are not in any way equivalent. The Republican equivalent of Barack Obama would be like John Huntsman. If John Huntsman was elected president, fairly, with no shenanigans, winning by a margin of 7 million votes, sure, I might disagree with him on his tax policy, but he wouldn't engender the kind of pure contempt and hatred that I feel towards Trump. Do you know what the equivalent of Donald Trump would be? It would be like if we elected uh, some guy named Rondell Higgins, just this crazy freaking ghetto caricature clown with an ill-fitting suit and like a crazy jerry curl head, and he went on TV every day spewing shit like this. Yeah, dog, you know, man, talking about Rondell Higgins up in the house here, the White House. It's my house, son. Every day I wake up and I think, Rondell, what you gonna do with your army? Because you run this shit, brother. All these crackers up in here whining and crying. These Republicans saying that Rondell has too many scandals, that Rondell's budget's out of control. You know, them crackers, they just jealous, man. They just jealous over an election that they should have won. That's just the truth of it, brother. Now, let me tell you the truth here. Let me tell you the truth of Rondell. Anytime you hear no story in the news, anytime you hear some crazy story about my scandals, all that shit ain't true, brother. It ain't true. Fake, Fake news, news, son. Any story you hear about me that's good, saying that Rondell Higgins is the greatest president ever, done more in his administration than any cracker president ever did, then that's the God's truth, man. That's the truth right there. Hold on, T-Bone, bring up the electoral map. See, this is my electoral map here. It's the greatest victory in history. I got more states. I got more blue states than anyone ever won, brother. You can take that to the bank. Now, if you'll excuse me, Rondell's gonna go back up here in the White House. Oh, did I call it the White House? I meant the Black House, son. And we're gonna brainstorm me and my cabinet. We're gonna brainstorm some ways to take get some of these honkies out the country and get more brothers in, because that's what is going on under Rondell, brother. And then we're gonna find some white women and we gonna grab him by the pussy, man. <laughs> you know how we do, brother. You know that's what Rondell does. Shit, man. Yeah, you hear that? That's the kind of a name jabber that we've had to put up with for the last two years. That's what you've subjected us to, conservatives. The white equivalent of that. And we're gonna get our revenge. Oh, yes. We are going to get our revenge. Yeah. Anyway, whew. I need to stop working on this bullshit and get back to what I do best. Sexy, Sexy drawings. drawings. Over at my DeviantArt page, I recently held a contest. Anyone who voted in this midterm election was eligible for a free drawing. The three winners have been selected, and now I have to draw what they want. Ranting about politics is all fine and good, but it's not as good as... Sexy Drawings! Bow, bow, bow.